Good morning and happy Tuesday, girls. So we are on module seven, lesson seven today. And our I can statement is I can reason about composing and decomposing polygons using tetronymos, okay? So we are familiar with the words composing and decomposing, you know, putting together, breaking apart. We did a lot of that when it came to multiplication. You guys learned what polygons are, and today our new word is tetronymos. And I want you to look at that word, and I want you to think, what word do I know that kind of looks like that? Or that sounds like that? Tetronymos. Hmm. The word I'm thinking of is dominoes. <clears throat> Doesn't really have anything to do with it. Just thought I'd throw it out there. <laughs> so, a tetronymo is a shape composed of four squares connected at the right angle. So, for instance, here is a, tet a tetronymo. Go ahead and say that five times fast. And you'll see that this square is connected to this square at a right angle. Here is our right angle. Remember, our right angle is the one that looks like just a straight up L, I guess you would call it. Okay, so we have that tetronymo. We have this tetronymo. What happened down here? And that tetronymo and that tetronymo. And we are going to be using these tetronymos in our lesson today. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I want you to go ahead and try and draw these tetronymos and cut them out. Okay, so I'm going to have you pause the video here. This one, I'll, have, I'll put one each so that you can see what they look like. Okay, so just draw them as cubes. Don't try to maybe draw them all at once. This one messed me up. That one definitely messed me up. So I drew a box. I drew another box, I drew another box, and then I drew my box there. And try to color them the same colors. We have purple, red, yellow, blue, and green. Okay, and once you've done that, come on back with all of your pieces. You should have four of each. Okay, go ahead. So today we're just going to have fun and we're just going to be making rectangles and squares using these five different tetronymos. So I want to know if anyone has ever played the game Tetris. If not, I would definitely look for it in the app store. You can probably get it on your iPhone, your Android, your iPad, or you can probably even play it online if you Google just like Tetris online. But it's a game where you have to, like it like drops down three different shapes and you have to like put them together. And it's, it's a really fun game. It's an old game. I used to play it. My mom used to play it. She was a boss at it. So that's kind of what we're gonna be doing today. So I want you to look at this, at these tetronymos, and I want you to realize they all have an area of four, okay? There are four cubes in each of these tetronymos. So if I asked you to make a rectangle with the square unit of like 16, you would just need like, you could do these four. And if you put these on top of one another, we remember, oh, this one is just so much bigger. It's so awkward. A square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square. So this is considered a rectangle, even though it's a square, because it's got the same number on each side. So this is a rectangle of 16 square units. If I wanted to create another rectangle of 16 square units, I know that I'm going to need four pieces, okay? And keep in mind, a rectangle doesn't have anything protruding out, okay? So I would have maybe something like this, and you can reuse the pieces, that's why you have four of them. Um, would that be a rectangle of 16 square units? No, but I could see this and realize I have four up top, four on the bottom, but I only have three on the sides. So that's an area of 12. Well, I know that this is also four, and I could put that right there, and that would make a rectangle of 16 square units. Okay, so what I want you to do right now is I want you to go and try to make one or two more rectangles of 16 square units. Okay, so pause the video, go ahead, do that, take a picture and send it to me before you move them. Okay, so I'll write that down. The first one you're doing is 16 square units. Go ahead. All right, the next one I want you to try is 24 square units, okay? And what I want you to realize is that you can flip and rotate these trinomials. I keep forgetting how to pronounce them. Tetronomos. I want to call them trinomials, and they're not. 
tetronomos, you can rotate them anyway. It could be this, it could be like this, this, or this. Does not have to be like this. This one doesn't have to be like this. You can rotate. Remember how when I made that one of 16, I put that one like that, but when it came time for this one, that wouldn't match up. So I went like this and I fit it in right there. You can rotate them any way you'd like. Okay, so you're going to pause the video and before you get on Zern, you're gonna make some rectangles that have 24 square units and some rectangles that have 36 square units, okay? And then I want you to try to make the biggest tetronomo you can. But remember, You can't have any like out bumps. So like it couldn't be like, you know, this. You need to have something filling in that. It needs to be a perfect rectangle. All sides need to be completed, okay? So you're going to make one with, you're gonna make a couple with 24 square units, some with 36 square units, and then the biggest tetronomo you can. And I want you to take a picture and we're gonna post the biggest or a couple of the biggest ones tomorrow before we start the lesson. All right, ladies? So remember, one, two, and three, and then you're going to head on over to Zern. Have a good day, ladies.